When I look at this article, age over location, hmm, it actually sets me thinking. Today, we have a very interesting topic chosen by Anne. So let's take a look at this article from Age Prop. It says age over location when it comes to determining HDB resale prices. As we all know, right, most people or buyers always say location, location, location. So it's all about location, but now suddenly this article, article comes out. It's actually brought up by one of my clients when I was marketing her HDB. When I look at this article, age over location, hmm, it actually sets me thinking, just like what it Dennis over- was talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I was telling my client, I said, cannot be, cannot be. It's always location, location, location. How can it be age over location? Then my client said that, um, okay, this is actually a research done by Hutton's. Let me share with you an example, all right? You can look sure. at the uh, this slide, okay. Um, the age of the flat actually uh, plays a larger role. Uh, okay, here there's a comparison between Pungo and Clementi. Both are five room flats. For Pungo itself, the flat is actually going at $910,000. And for Clementi, it's over a million for a five room flat. Okay, it's very expensive for HDB. It's already crossing a million. So, but what is the, what is the difference? 185K difference only if I were to ask you, uh, do you prefer to live in Clementi or in Pungo? Mm. Clementi. Clementi, right? Yeah. Yes. I, I, will, I, will, I will also say Clementi. But the fact is that even a five-room flat in Pungo is actually fetching 910k. It's quite okay. unbelievable, really. Yeah, you may want to look at the table below. Okay, you can see that uh, this, these are actually a breakdown of those uh, sold flats already comparatively in mature and non-mature estate. So as you can see from the total, right, which are actually the higher in demand uh, flats, it's actually the four room, right? The four room, it actually has like 42% sold compared to the rest. And yes. out of the 42% sold for the four room flats, which non-mature estate actually runs faster. And actually when you look at mature and non-mature estate, what comes to your mind? Newer, uh, younger, younger uh, newer. yeah. But when you're talking about mature estate, uh, yeah, old la, a lot of old folks. So I would say there is a demographic shift of younger families. Or maybe uh, those newlyweds just got married, got young uh, family with young children. So they will they need space. They need space, you know, o- over. So to them, maybe location is not that important. So they may not want to look at mature estate. Why more expensive? Mature I estate. I think in simple terms, right, this slide is just trying to say that uh, by right, to be fair, most people will choose to uh, live in a mature estate. But why are they getting more and more buyers uh, buying the volume? Why non mature? So, non mature likely is because it's more of the age, it's younger, yeah, yes. it's newer. If today we are going back to 20, 30 years back, maybe this might not be possible. All the online stuff like Ketapa online, online delivery. So everything is very convenient. So even I, I live in a so-called Ulu Ulu place, right? I can get a tapa, I can get a grab. So I think um, it's all right. But co- compared to say 20 to 30, 30 years back, if you're not near MRT, you got to buy a food and walk out there. So I think this is quite in line with the recent trends and development itself. Yeah. Non-mature estate actually has higher demand than mature estate. I, I think it's the age over the location. My thing is that uh, probably this has to be uh, partly due to the well, the news in uh, 2017 when Mr. Lawrence Wong mentioned that be careful, uh, not all OHG. Sir, sir. <laughs> like, kind of, yeah, no, sir. I think everybody yeah. become a Qing Dian, a very, very classic <laughs> statement. So kind of have been ingrained in all the young people's mind. Okay, so suddenly the focus has been more on age. What are the other benefits of buying something that is newer actually? Um, Actually, the CPF uh, usage also. Because um, HDB has this regulation, the age of the buyer, wow. uh, plus the balance, you know, uh, tenor. Balance lease, flat. right? Uh, balance, balance lease tenor of the flat. It has to be equals to 95. Yeah, yes, it's I not, agree. you cannot, you cannot fully utilize the CPF. Recently, I'm also um, handling some transactions in Teluk Blanga. So interestingly, I was actually selling a very old HDB, which is about, um, left it about the lease uh, it's 1978 so most buyer actually asked me when they responded to my advertisement they will ask me um how old is the flat yeah yeah, yeah. so now this i realized that there's this question that they always you know ask me or sometimes then uh when they went to see the you know the newer flat that which i advertise because the price is high so uh they, they would say that hey i don't have this budget do you have anything nearby that is cheaper so mm. i tell them hey i got this older flat it's very cheap you know it's like almost half the price of this new newer flat 
and it's yeah. at the same location, just a road down. So mm-hmm. they will ask me, so how, how old is the older flat? So when I tell them that it was built in 1978, then they were like, ah, cannot, ah, cannot. I, I cannot meet, you know, I cannot meet the age criteria. I think so, it's, a, it's a very new trend. Because last night, I was also meeting a client, so you want to buy a HDB. So generally speaking, right, there's this, uh, this consensus or uns- unspoken rule that uh, if you want to have, uh, you want to buy a HGB and hopes that there will be still a uh, substantial capital appreciation, then people will buy from between five to 10, five years, MOP five years, right? Then between five years and then to 10 years, once you cross a double digit, that's a kind of a psychological barrier already. But from, yeah. our, from our ground experience, if you want to have something that has a, still have substantial uh, capital appreciation, like this, between five to 15 years, five is MOP, 15 is the max. As a general guide, when the old flats get older, right? There's this stigma and this uh, HDB on block is purely uh, the sole decision by the government. Unlike con- you're very, you're very right, right, Dennis, because some of the buyers, they even ask me if I were to purchase this old HDB flat, what would happen, you know, after 10 years? Will yeah. I be able to get another buyer? They actually yeah, ask me this question. And it, it really makes me thinking, you know, whether are they really, you know, am I able to help them to sell after 10 years? Because yeah. the flat will go even older and older. I think they will still be able to find buyers even 10 years later, but they have to taper their expectations. I think to be fair, uh, everything can be sold, but their concern is just whether will you appreciate or at least don't depreciate. That's the main concern. Ah, but, um, don't depreciate think, is a bit difficult, I think. Yeah, it's getting older and you need more uh, expenses to maintain the inside and outside yep. the HDB. Mm, yeah. They are, so they are very concerned, about. yeah. So they also want to know, you know, like, uh, what are the HDB estates? which the most transaction, those highly mm. sought after HDB estates. Seven out of 10 are actually all non-mature estates. Right, right. Sure. Okay, you can see that, yeah, HDB estates with the most transaction. So okay, this is based on Go to O. Like Amokyo is actually right at the bottom already. Amokyo is a mature estate. Seven out of so, 10 were non-mature estate. When you look at this, you compare the young and the old flats, you can see that the number of older flats so uh, in 2019, it's actually eighty one percent, but when you compare with and uh, with two o one two o two o, it's only a year difference. But yeah. the number of older flats sold actually decreases and it becomes seventy four percent. Let's take a look at the next slide. We want to know where are the one million HDB flats located. Right. So as you can see, uh, most of the units are transacted at central area. Most people go for the location and they are willing to pay for it. But yeah. recently, the Monday, June 14, 2021, the headline says that not all million dollar resale flats oh, located no. in central area. Okay. okay, and then let's zoom into the smaller table. You can see that, um, okay, this, this slide is actually very interesting. It shows you the transacted date um, from year 2020 until 2021. Okay, mm. and it also shows you the remaining lease of the property. Mm-hmm. As you can see, a million dollar flat at Bishan. Last time, I always heard people saying that you know, $1 million flat at uh, Pinnacle at Duxton. But after I look at this data, I realized, wow, actually Bishan also crossed a million dollar. A lot of people going there, even uh, yeah, Queenstown maybe. Lah. But if you look at the remaining lease, uh, do you see anything that is old besides the Bukit Dima transaction? Yeah, that, that, no. that, uh, that, that could be unique. That's la, a rarity, yeah, the top one, yeah, right? But you, you yeah. look at the, the rest, la, it's all it's like 89 and above, you know, 89, 90 years. So I think mm. there are, people are also going for, for the age of the mm. flats. And mm. look at the, the prices, it's really like you can I can buy a condo already at OCR. And also there are big units because people are generally looking at bigger for play. Today we have uh, mentioned about this uh, age over location. And now we have to mention about the million dollar deal. To sum it all up, right, most people have to struggle or have a dilemma over between do you prefer to have a better age or do you have a better location? For the youngsters who just started out, they are more concerned about capital appreciation. The first time mm. buyers, uh, those who Price. are in the 30s or 40s, so they might want to hedge against inflation, hope that my property will have will appreciate over the years. So for this group, maybe they might sacrifice uh, this uh, age over location. But on the other hand, there could be the so-called maybe those who are more senior or who prefers location and amenities. So they might sacrifice over the choose this uh, location over the age. For those who so-called die die once have both the best of both worlds, then likely you'll be looking at the uh, one million, million or near one million. Yeah. For this uh, group of buyers, right, actually there'll be a struggle point as well. So because when you are able to to afford the 800k to 1 million HDB. Actually, you also give a choice to look at the private property. They will face another dilemma. Buying Let us solve for them this happy problem. 
whether whether is it age better for you or the location better for you or you must have the both best of both world it actually depends on your financial uh, situation how about your family where do they uh, work where do where do their kids study so a lot of uh, factors i would say that when choosing a property you have to ask yourself what do you prioritize always exercise prudence as we always mention and if you need any assistance feel free to call any of us our team will give you the best advice and based on your customized uh, situation based on number as well. Leave your comments or give us a call. That sums up for today, right? Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye.